Sobre todo, disfrutar del fútbol. I'm enjoying my football, which is very important. I think that feeling part of the team is also important, if you're going to give your best. The truth is that I'm enjoying it here. It's a young group, and they like to do things well. Once again, Roberto Soldado is a happy footballer. He's back in Spain at Villarreal after a testing time overseas. From the very first day, the fans have shown great affection for me, and I hope this will last until the last day that I'm here at Villarreal, because it means that things are going well. I don't think there's anything as good as a player bringing joy to the fans, and hopefully I can keep on doing that. Soldado worked his way through the Spanish national youth ranks. His early career took in Real Madrid, Osasuna, and Getafe. But it was when he returned to his home city of Valencia that his career really took off. Getafe gave me a chance and things worked out well. The team worked well and that was something that helped me later on when I had the chance to come back to Valencia, which is a great club. I think that those years were the best of my career because things went well there from day one. His successful three years at Valencia peaked in 2013. It was a great year. I think it was good for the team and for me individually because I scored more goals than I ever have before in the Primera División. It was great and our relationship with the fans couldn't have been better. At the end of that season, I got the chance to play for Spain at the Confederations Cup, so for me, it was an unforgettable year. 30 goals that season brought Soldado into the thoughts of Vicente del Bosque, who gave him the number nine shirt for the showpiece tournaments in Brazil. It was my first major tournament with the national team, and it was an amazing experience, especially because I started against Uruguay, and we beat them 2-0. I scored a goal, and it was just a great game that I enjoyed a lot. I think that, in terms of the Selección, that was my favourite moment, because to be able to play for Spain in an official tournament is something I'll never forget. However, back home, things were changing. Valencia were facing major difficulties off the field. I was the captain of the team, and I knew that there might be problems because of the way they worked. So I decided to step aside, because I think if I'd stayed, I would have had difficulties. We knew that the club were in significant debt and would have to sell players. Soldado was one of the players who was sold. In August 2013, he moved to Tottenham Hotspur for 30 million euros. At that stage, I had to make a decision. So, I went to Tottenham in England, which is a great club with a great history. However, I wasn't able to perform as well as I'd hoped for over there. London, Tottenham Hotspur and the Premier League turned out to be a very difficult experience. It always felt like it was just about to come together, but unfortunately, it never did. I had a lot of opportunities, and the truth is that I'd like to know the reasons myself as to why I wasn't able to perform. There are just times when luck isn't on your side. I gave my best, but sometimes your head just isn't right, and I started to lose confidence. And when you feel like that, you lose belief in yourself. That's when I knew that I need to make a change. Back then to Spain and Villarreal, where Soldado's game has changed. Once an outright striker, he's now a provider of goals. For me, coming back to Spain has been perfect. I'm thrilled, especially because on a personal level, my family is better off here than in England. And on a professional level, everything is going well. I feel good and the team's performing, which is what I like. Back in Spain, back in form. But there is much more still to achieve for one of Spanish football's most talented strikers of his generation. My dream is to carry on for as long as I can at Villarreal. I want to squeeze out all the football I have left inside me for my teammates and for my fans. I want to play to the best of my ability and, hopefully, 
get back into the national team. You should never say that you won't get picked because as long as you're performing for your club, you can still dream of the Selección.